pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Okay, let's look at this illustration here. The normal reality. Just like the other one, the normal reality had the physical meaning of the persons. Physical meaning that sensations are your own. You only feel what you touch. You only hear what's next to your ears. You only taste what's in your mouth. You only smell what's next to your nose. That's the normal meanings. Then you had the physical meaning that there was no personal sense sensations. In other words, there wasn't anything next to his nose, the hypnotized subject. There was nothing near his ear. There was nothing in his mouth. There was nothing around his eyes. So the normal result, the normal reality, would be nothing felt or sensed. However, God power exercised by hypnotism. Okay, so in the illustration, God power exercised by hypnotism, you had the starting neutral situation once again. You had the physical meaning of the person, so that's always the same. But then you have the thought meaning, which the hypnotist implanted as one of his suggestions while the guy was being hypnotized, that the sense sensations are the hypnotist's sense sensations. In other words, whatever the hypnotist experienced, the subject was going to experience also. Then you have the physical meaning that there was no personal sense sensations for the subject. In other words, nothing actually ever happened to him. But... You have the meaning that he was going to experience what the hypnotist experienced. So it didn't matter that nothing was happening to him. All of his sensations had been moved or expanded to include the sensations that the hypnotist was feeling. In fact, it was probably expanded. Probably if there was something around his nose, he would probably smell that also. So it wasn't that they were transferred to only the hypnotist sensations. Probably his sensations were expanded to include what the hypnotist was experiencing. So, the result, the subject felt and sensed everything the hypnotist did. Here it says in green, the ability has been elicited and activated in subject's own life experience. And once again, striking the green tuning fork and eliciting everything that was necessary for that to happen. Now, this is an expanded example of what we just saw because in this example, not only did the person taste what was in the hypnotist's mouth, but was experiencing the light in the eyes, was, ex was being able to hear what the hypnotist heard, was being able to feel the pain when the hypnotist was pricking himself. Um, he, he included all the different senses in this particular example. Now, in the prior one, that girl may not have been able to tell when the hypnotist stuck a needle in himself because that wasn't part of the definitions, that wasn't part of the meaning. But in this one, it was. So once again, out of all the infinite possible outcomes in this normal situation, neutral situation, he, the subject was given the meaning that he would experience what the hypnotist experienced. And sure enough, that was what was elicited from the situation. Now, it's a lucky thing that the hypnotist didn't have a heart attack. Because while in that condition, while under that suggestion, while having that meaning, he most certainly would have experienced what the hypnotist was experiencing. It's just that wild. And it's just that easy. That information is out there. You are non-physical beings having a physical experience. But there isn't anything you can experience or you can include in your experience if you want to. That's what the purpose of all this information in this book is to show you just how flexible an experience you have. You are not boxed in in the way that you think you are. Here it says the green 24 vibrations are the high frequency meanings and they elicit and resonate with all the things that match them. So everything it took in order to fulfill that meaning, resonance, 
elicited that from the situation and the subject experienced what the hypnotist was experiencing because that was the meaning. It wasn't physically happening, but because the meaning of the situation had been changed, which is a God power activity, which is a God power ability, the meaning was changed and so the situation changed and became an amazing situation just by changing meaning. Remember, meaning is everything. It is the only thing. It is the basis of the universe. It is the basis of all creation. Let there be light is the meaning of light which creates it. It's just that simple. If these people can see, hear, and feel sensations that are not coming from their own sense organs, then it is clear that they aren't even needed. If you can taste what is in someone else's mouth and feel pain when their skin is pricked, then your own body must not be where the actual tasting and feeling are happening. How can your mouth be the actual source of tasting if you can taste without it? All this time you thought that you were tasting with your mouth when it was only the place that was at the time representing realistically your place of tasting. But then you go and change the meaning to include tasting with somebody else's mouth. At least, <laughs> at least that was in a weird, twisted way still kind of realistic and that you still tasted with a mouth even though it wasn't your own. But what if you decided to see with someone else's fingers, hear with their hands? If you could hear something, you could just raise your hand way up high and face it toward what you wanted to hear. What if you hypnotized someone to taste with their feet? That would really have to... <laughs> they would really have to watch where they were stepping. I'm sure that you are beginning to realize that nothing with regard to your body is as it seems. Everything that your body does is representing various functions and it does so according to the established meanings associated with each aspect. The real action is happening in the energy realm, not in the superficial, fake, physical representation that we call our body. In these cases, the hypnotist influences subjects to use their own God power to change the source of the sensations from their own represented location, their mouth, their ears, and their eyes, to the location of the hypnotist's representation of a mouth, ears, and eyes instead. Does this meet our definition of reality? Remember that we said, let's call reality that which someone can experience. If someone can experience it, it's reality. Well, I guess these experiences were real enough for the people who experienced them. That means that, once again, we have reality, albeit their reality. Just so we are clear on the point of this whole exercise, animals have the same physical sensations and representative expressions, etc., as we do. However, for them, their reality is fixed. They are not able to make these kinds of changes. If it were the same for us, there would be no point in understanding this whole meaning representation thing, because in the end, we would have to live with it. However, we can change our realities. We can use our God power to alter and change anything we want. So the first step is to recognize and believe that other realities not only exist, but that you have the God power and ability already to create and alter them. This whole section is to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that anything and everything can be altered by changing meaning. And you have the ability, the God power, to change meaning. If you spend time perfecting the use of your God power, 
you could go into a restaurant, look over at the table next to you, check out what the guy next to you ordered by tasting what he was tasting and what he was eating to decide if you wanted to order the same thing. You could go to a ball game, and if you had seats way in the back, decide to see the game through someone else's eyes who was closer to the action. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 10, Segment Number 19. Let your quest for knowing continue.